What's going on Collider Games fans? I'm Caboose and today what I got for you guys here is my thoughts and opinions on the new Havoc rifle in Apex Legends. The weapon dropped yesterday and I've had quite a bit of time using the gun so I wanted to give you guys my overall thoughts on the weapon as well as some gameplay using the gun that you're seeing on screen right now. So the way that the Havoc rifle works, first of all, it is an energy-based weapon. It requires energy ammo, and it has three attachments. The normal one is a scope. You can add a stock to it. And then the third is either you can add the select fire receiver attachment, or you can add the turbocharger attachment. Now, if you add the select fire receiver, you can change the weapon from its normal full auto mode to a single shot burst. Now, what this does is it's a charged up shot that does 55 damage damage to the body on the opponent that you're hitting. What I love about this shot is that it is straight. There is no bullet drop off. You can snipe people with this charge shot and it does quite a decent amount of damage. You can almost essentially use this thing as a shotgun from a distance and then carry like an R301 as your secondary to finish somebody off after you've done like close to a hundred damage to them with just two shots landing. Now the turbocharger attachment, while I thought it would have been better, honestly doesn't do that much for me. It just makes it so that it removes the charge time that you normally would have on the gun to start firing it at its highest fire rate, which is still great. You know, the charge time is brutal, so it's great that we can totally skip that. I just don't like using the gun at full auto. I much prefer to be doing the charge shot that you get out of using the select fire receiver because honestly, the gun's recoil is all over the place and there are way more viable options in terms of guns that you can get that work from that mid to close range. You know, the R301 comes to mind. The R99 comes to mind. You know, there are plenty of other guns, first of all, where you can find more ammo for in that early game that are way more viable than the Havoc rifle at full auto. Like I said, the charge shot, pretty good. But when you're using the turbocharger, I honestly don't find too much use in it. Overall, I don't think this is the worst gun to get off the jump. You know, it's definitely no Mozambique, but I don't think that this is the best gun either. Early game, it is still so incredibly difficult to get your hand on energy ammo, so it's really hard to be able to hold on to a weapon like this and be able to use it consistently throughout the entirety of a game to the point where you're using up clip after clip in a fight and still have ammo to use. You know, it's just... You got to get lucky, you know, you got to get some good RNG to find plenty of energy ammo. You will find some mid to late game. A lot of people are picking it up in the hopes to find this weapon or because they have the weapon themselves. And that's simply because it's a brand new weapon that's been added to the game just a day ago. So I'm sure a lot of people are going to want to use it for that reason. But I think a couple of days from now when the hype dies down a little bit, you're going to start to see that things start to go back to normal. Not a lot of people are going to use the Havoc rifle anymore. Not a lot of energy ammo is going to be able to be found out there in the wild when you're taking people out or when you're just trying to loot overall. So I just don't think that this is a very viable weapon. There are a lot of better options out there right now that are available for you that do better damage, that are way more consistent, and that you can find a ton of ammo for throughout the entirety of a match. I will say though that it's great that Respawn is adding new items to the game already, that they're updating this game already. They've been listening to a ton of feedback from the community and I've been really happy with the way that they've been managing Apex Legends. I just hope that they don't add an abundance of weapons that start to become sort of useless. You know, I don't want every single new weapon to come out to be overpowered, but at least make it something that's worth trying, worth giving a shot so that we don't pollute the loot pool to the point where we have like four different versions of what a Mozambique would be off the start. You know, give us some guns to where, hey, that's something worth having at least off the start of the game and maybe even a gun that would be worth keeping for the entirety of a game. But that's it. That's my thoughts on the Havoc rifle in Apex Legends. And now I'm going to kick it to you guys. Have you had a chance to try out this new gun in the game yet? If so, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, a positive rating would be appreciated. And you can subscribe to the Collider Games channel for more gaming coverage. I've been Caboose and I'll see you guys later.